hey, 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 you know what time it is. It is day five of the birthday extravaganza. Okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are just joining me for the first day, go back and watch all the other days. But today I'm using, I think it's, it's called Toma River Paper. Um, a mole skin or mole skin journals, I believe, come with this particular paper. Now, let me just tell y'all, I had this paper for a while and I forgot about it. <laughs> Lord help me. You know you got too much when you just stick the paper in the thing. And so anyway, um, I had printed something on this paper the other day because I was digging through my drawer that says blank paper in it. <laughs> That's how I found it. Anyway, so I'm literally just blobbing down acrylic paint here. It is very technical. Do not overwhelm yourself with the technology that it requires for you to be able to blob the paint down. Okay? I don't want y'all to get carried away now. Alright, so <laughs> enough joking aside. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm going to continue to joke because that's just who I am. And you saw that big old booger on the um acrylic paint. I am a hot mess. And y'all still watch me, which just tickles me pink. I'm going to tell you what. But the Toma River Paper, or however you say it, um, is a thin, thin paper. And I thought... Hey, Tiff, hey girl, would not this be cool to collage with, collage? So, I said, heck to the yeah, let's try it. So, literally, I had no idea what I really wanted to do, but I do think that this paper would be cool. I can't even remember if this paper is expensive or not, to be honest with you. I'm just over here just slapping paint around. Lord, please don't let it be very expensive paper. Um, but I think it would be cool to try on the deli paper too. I mean, not deli paper, but the jelly print as well. Um, so I'm just taking random colors, slapping it down, and I'm going to use these as collage, uh, just collage elements, right? So it did what I will say is it took a while for it to dry. And if you're wondering what those little holes are right there, well, I thought that because it was so thin, it would be cool to burn some holes into it. Okay, so let me tell you, last time I decided to do fire on the camera, you mamas and people who worry about that kind of stuff um, were so freaking out about me burning my house down. So I said, Lord, we cannot give them a heart attack today. We just going to let them be. So I went outside and tried to burn a hole in it with a little stick. And well, after like three attempts, I said, screw it. It ain't going to work. So I came back in here, grabbed my Arteza gel pens. I'm going to get a coupon from Arteza. Um, I've got some of their um, acrylic markers on the way too, but I know uh, they'll give me a coupon. I'll get a coupon for you guys to use because these darn pens are cool. I mean, they're gel pens and I kind of thought that they would, um, once they were dry, they may stay, but no, nope, they just move around like a darn watercolor, which I think is pretty cool, especially if you like travel or you want to take like a little bit of color to somewhere like I think about me, I should go to the beach sometimes or, or want to art outside or whatever it is. These would give you like some really cool watercolor effects with just some pens. And you know I'm all about a twofer. If you can get a two for one, that is where it's at. All about that. So I thought real quick that I was going to use this in this cute journal like Presh. Love this journal. Love the size. Thanks, Belinda. Shout out. Um, she spoils me right. So, um, but then I opted for, no, I was really feeling like a tag. And I did tags the other day. That's me gyrating. Y'all know I just be j jumping and jiving around out there. I actually work standing up. I don't know if that's weird or not, or if y'all do too. But it gives me the freedom to be able to just bust out and random dance. And y'all get to be a witness. So, hot mess to you. If y'all know that I had a little booger on there and I couldn't get that gel on um, matte medium out. And then... Yeah. 
hot mess train over here. So I just took and tore some of that river paper stuff that we just inked up. And, um, well, we didn't really use ink. Well, yeah, we did use the gel pen. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The paper we just made, I'm gluing it down. And I really like how it glues down. What I will say, though, is I don't know that it's any different than if we were to do that on jelly. Jelly, why do I keep saying that? Deli paper, okay? So, don't go out there and buy the Toma River paper just for this. Because I don't know that it really was any different than just, say, a gel, um, a deli paper. Good Lord Jesus, help me. Ugh. And so, I'm going in there and I'm seeing that the ink that I put on there is moving around. So, hindsight is 2020 is what they say. And you more than, I mean, you totally could have just torn the paper and then put it on there and then made your marks. But, you know what? We live and learn and that's just part of life, I guess. And you know how I feel about getting that gel medium on my fingers. I do not like it at all. But, my mess of a studio, I couldn't find the tub of gel medium and now it appeared miraculously so I'm just gluing down these blobs that I made and just creating um, some interest and very funky and abstract which I'm all about yeah 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 and just tearing it up bless its heart I, I just made it to tear it up and I love making collage like that um, like just like random papers because I think you get the more organic shapes that I wouldn't have been able to do if I just set out and painted directly on the tag so you know teach their own but I thought it was fun and I have enjoyed uh, gluing it and it also because I wasn't very um, professional like in my gluing abilities it did create some ripples and some like wrinkles which I like um, and it probably wouldn't have if I would have been a little more careful but eh, that's not really my style so I'm going in there with the Arteza gel pens in the purple and are y'all surprised I use purple well I saw an Instagram post uh, PJ's fun art and uh, PJ have put um, like some purple in her work this morning and I said you know what I'm gonna use purple today because I like it and it's beautiful and then I'm going in there with the green um, gel pen as well and green is not always my jam either but I'm liking it I'm feeling it it's all organic and fun and funky and tiffy like <clears throat> um is it weird that I talk about myself in third person y'all let me know I guess if you've been here this long, you probably don't mind my random craziness, so thanks. And I'm going in there with the old number two, because you know that number two, I love a good scribble sash. So I'm trimming around the tag, um, and then, okay, so a little story about this leaf. So I recently had somebody message me and asked me if I had any journals for sale. And I said, well, you know, it happens to be I have these two and I'm working on about 10 journals at a time. So I might as well go ahead and sell it. You know what I mean? And so when I was going through and flipping through the journal, um, that eco died paper that I had in there well a freaking leaf fell out and I said well look at you I don't even know how long it had been in there but I was like I think that's pretty cool I mean now mind you that it's probably going to crumble up but you know again hindsight's 2020 I like it today I may just uh ship it with the uh, journals so if there's ever a time that you're looking or want to know, do I have any journals or stuff to sell, just hit me an email. I always have my email right down below. And you saw that I added a little bit of handwriting, a little bit of staple, a little bit of fabric, a little bit of this and that to tiff it up a little bit. And now there is that leaf that I just like it and I think it's cool. And I probably, if that thing doesn't fall apart, I probably could uh, start keeping those. Um, because usually when I eco die, I'm so impatient, huh, y'all know this, that I will just throw those leaves away as I unbundle them. But this kind of makes me think like, hmm, 
it is pretty brittle, but if it stays on the tag, then it could be worth me keeping some of those because I kind of like how it looks. So, here I tinkered around with a little fabric on this purple one. The purple one still needs something, but I wasn't about to just like, I mean, it's not that serious. So, I'm going to come back to this purplish one and work it out with a little something, I'm pretty sure. I just it wasn't I wasn't feeling it it wasn't feeling me so I just took a break from it and I finished these two tags though so I'm putting the heavy gel matte medium here on the back of this leaf and I'm using the palette knife to do that now um I am going to secure it on there with some staples but I thought that the gel medium may just you know help keep the leaves down I don't know we'll see and then I stuck it on um, staple if you do not have the long handled stapler guys it's like $12 in my Amazon store go get you one because I use that thing all the time y'all know if y'all been watching my videos for any amount of time y'all know that I use that staple all the time so thank you for joining me for day five of the birthday extravaganza and I will see y'all next time <laughs> to lose